right. Living cup mine hood. All right. If you needed to get a poop, there was uh, there's a campsite down to the left, but we're not going there. So we're gonna continue into Saline Valley right now. Seven miles into Saline Valley, and then we're gonna turn right. Thank you. surface. Haha, <laughs> gosh, man. on video because from what I can tell on the snippets of video that I saw this is nothing more than just a over glorified rocky road so we'll see if there's any technical sections I think the uh, the most technical thing that we did was the uh, UB UB mine road that was about it at the very very end where you know people are probably would have had to back out and stuff but we didn't even I didn't even have to lock up so simple just being safe and minding your 
tire placement was all I had to do. So not even that wasn't even really technical. So so far, Death Valley has not been technical at all. Now Steel Pass supposedly is gonna have some uh, waterfalls and stuff like that. But that's about it. So overall, the CR2 vehicle platform is 100% able to handle everything that Death Valley can throw at it as far as I can tell at this point. So you gotta come and check this thing out. If you got a ZR2, this is the place for you. He probably camped back at the camp that we didn't go to, uh, which was further uh, north or south or something. Uh. Yeah, there's a lot of really neat places to camp, and he could have even camped along the playa. There's a couple campsites along it. Here's a campsite, check that out.
other than being pretty rocky, there's no technical sections in this trail that I can tell. Nice about There would definitely be some uh, really tight squeezes for a full sizer, like that ram that I saw in those videos. my angles on the off-road mode uh, page and we're barely hitting 11%. switch into low so I don't use as much of my uh, braking.
got a vehicle down below us. <laughs> How far down? Oh, down there. Oh, shit. <laughs> there, is that a Subaru? 